Go ahead. Well, it's just a double pendulum. You know, you have a, one, one part swinging from the top and another part swinging from here. And you see it's a pretty, pretty dull regular pendulum. You know, it reminds you of the old, uh, the old grandfather clocks regulating your clock. And, you know, nothing much happens. Make the, you can make the amplitude a little bit bigger. Still, you know, huh? pretty boring, isn't it? Right? Let's make it a little bit, let's make it a little bit bigger. Amplitude. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. Wow. Well, that was something. Did you see that? Hey, let's make it even more. Oh, whoa, watch this little. Now, you notice that you can't really tell what's going to happen next. It's very irregular, isn't it? Uh, instead of having regular motion, which is what you expect from a very simple mechanical device like this, this pendulum just goes absolutely chaotic. We call that chaotic motion, unpredictable, like the weather. It never repeats the same way twice, no matter what you try to do to make it exactly the same initial condition. you get completely different behavior. You want to stop it for a second? Break it up. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. So uh, what is this device? Well, this device is called a double pendulum. It swings about two axes. And uh, it demonstrates what we call chaotic motion. When you give it very small displacements, it behaves in a regular fashion, as we are accustomed to see in uh, regular, sim sim simple pendula kind of pendulum that you use to regulate clocks you don't, when you've done that for ages. But you've seen that as soon as you make the motion more, uh, the amplitude very great, then you get extremely complicated motion, uh, 
which uh, can no longer be predicted. Uh, so contrary to one's usual ideas that when we have a mechanical system, it behaves in a regular fashion and we can predict the future behavior as soon as we know the initial state, like for example, the motion of planets around the sun in uh, all kinds of regular motion. This is more like uh, weather prediction. You know, it's very chaotic, depends on a lot of things, and usually cannot be predicted uh, because it's sensitive to what we call the initial conditions. And who are you to tell us about this? Who I am? Yeah. Oh, my name is Michael Nauenberg. I teach at the University of California in the physics department. Anything else?